Hello, my name is Ciara Moesides, and I served as the 2020 to 2021 President of the Associated Student Government here at Santa Clara University. It has been a pleasure to serve this past year, and I am so proud of our senior class for reaching such an incredible milestone after such a challenging year apart. I am honored to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2021, Haley Howard. Haley hails from San Ramon, California, and is graduating with a double major in political science and ethnic studies, with a minor in religious studies. A member of the University Honors Program, Haley has distinguished herself by maintaining a 3.94 grade point average while being actively involved in the campus community, including being co-chair of Igwe Buike and also the Inclusive Excellence Student Advisory Council. In her junior year, Haley attended the Oxford University, where she studied equity and power after being awarded the Mansfield Visiting Student Scholarship. Following our graduation, Haley will continue working as a research assistant while applying to graduate programs. Congratulations to Haley, who will now give the valedictory address. Four years ago, when we first started college, I had a lot of expectations. Many were academic, admittedly most were social, and they all culminated in those final moments at Stevens Stadium. There we would all be, gathered on the field, thousands of us, with family and friends, reveling in our accomplishments and our willingness to take advantage of every opportunity since our first year. I imagine that many of us began SCU with similar expectations, goals, and dreams. I bet none of us included a virtual graduation, a year of muting and unmuting, or awkward Zoom lags in our original four-year plans. Over the past year, we've all probably experienced feelings of helplessness, sadness, anger, fear, or grief. We've also experienced joy, love, pride, excitement, and humor. All of these feelings, and thousands more, are completely valid. We weren't given any instructions. There's no guidebook on how to be a senior during a global pandemic as our country simultaneously reckons with racism and injustice. The question is, what do we do now? Now that we have finally made it here, how do we press on and move forward? How do we use the skills and experiences cultivated during our time at Santa Clara University in a way that is meaningful when the world that we are about to enter is so different from the one that we started this journey in. As simple as it sounds, we hope. No, we don't hope in a way that feels disingenuous or attempts to minimize the justifiable pain that we have all experienced this year in some form or another. Instead, we immerse ourselves in what philosopher Jonathan Lear calls radical hope. He states that what makes this hope radical is that it is directed toward a future goodness that transcends the current ability to understand what it is. In other words, radical hope is not passive. It is not some indescribable ideal, but is rooted in advocacy and fighting for what we believe in. Radical hope is about daring to imagine what the future might mean in a way that is completely unique and separate from the lives that we lead today. It refuses to cower in the face of impossible circumstances or moments filled with despair. Radical hope is resilient. We are already very familiar with resilience ourselves. As first years on campus, we were constantly encouraged to break out of the Santa Clara bubble and experience the real world. During the past year, the real world has invaded the Santa Clara bubble in ways that we could have never fathomed. As a result, we as students have already faced what once seemed impossible throughout the COVID-19 pandemic while still challenging our nation and university. During this time, it has been so easy to feel trapped by our lack of control over what happens next. And unfortunately, there will be countless other circumstances throughout our lives that generate similar frustrations. But we always can, and we always should, remain radically hopeful for the futures that we can build together. We of all graduating classes are equipped with the assets and attributes needed to generate the worlds that we are radically hopeful for in our respective fields. 
Our entire Jesuit education has been framed with questions that are defined by the values of innovation and social consciousness. In fact, we have already developed what Lear calls imaginative excellence. For four years, we have been encouraged to test the limits and push the boundaries, all with the understanding that we will one day help forge a path forward that will be more creative, sustainable, and inclusive than any before it. Now, being radically hopeful is not easy. Again, radical hope is distinctive because it requires action. One cannot claim to be radically hopeful without doing the work, and doing the work takes courage. It takes courage to ask why not when someone in your C-suite says that there is no room for the addition of a non-binary member. It takes courage to be the voice that questions a product because its environmental impacts haven't been properly researched. It takes courage to demand equal pay for equal work. It takes courage to continuously combat racism within our institutions. Be courageous enough to remain radically hopeful. So today, do celebrate our accomplishments. Celebrate the APB events, the hours spent in ASG meetings, the work done on culture shows for global villages, the effort put into every player musical, the feats of engineering done during labs, the time committed to sports practices, journalism, internships, and countless other on and off campus activities. Celebrate the family, friends, professors, staff, and administrators who have supported us on this journey. But also, allow yourself to imagine and start dreaming about the world that you want to cultivate, a world that you can be proud of. We are entering a new phase of our lives. How will you use the knowledge that you have gained as a student at Santa Clara University? Will you perpetuate current realities and expectations? Or will you be courageous enough to live from a place of radical hope and help transform our collective communities for the better? If anything, I hope that my words have encouraged you to ask yourselves these questions and have inspired you to embrace a mentality that is rooted in radical hope. Thank you, and go Broncos!